Hi, it's Mrs Malone here. Um, hopefully you watched my last video about everything early years and you've been watching the teacher videos. And now today I wanted to make a final video, our final video for you before um, summer to just go through a couple more of extra things. Now, first of all, I want to introduce you to your class teachers and your class names. Class names at Leaveston Green are very important. We have our umbrella words, and these are important words about how we learn. At Leavesden, you will learn so many amazing things. You'll learn new skills and you'll learn lots of knowledge, but also we hope that you'll learn lots of ways um, to approach things and, and see the importance of being an effective learner. So these words we celebrate on our umbrellas, which we've spoken about before, and our class names are chosen based on these characteristics. Every class has a name and they take their name through with them as they move through our school. So your name is going to be very special. Now, our first class that I'm going to introduce you to is Explorer class. Your teacher is Mrs Berry and you've also got the wonderful Mrs Banks and Mrs Hayward helping you to learn every day in nursery and we have an explorer class because explorers are brave explorers are considerate they think about others when they go and look for new places they think about those that might already be there they're responsible because they're prepared they don't just go off on adventures they think about them first they're supportive to those that they might be exploring with and they're willing to seek new things now that's just some of the reasons that we have an explorer class but nursery you are going to be our explorer class in september and we look forward to encouraging all of those things with you our next class is forest class and forest class your teacher is going to be mrs anderson so at the moment you know yourself as reception a but from now on you are forest class and you are going to be exploring learning together in forest class with mrs anderson and the wonderful mrs sinclair day now forest was chosen because all forests are different every forest you go to you might have things that are the same but there'll be things that are different forests are an area of collaboration it's built by lots of things growing together Forests can be exciting, but also supportive because they need looking after and the different things that live there need to be able to live there together collaboratively. And they keep growing and it keeps changing, just like hopefully you will in our time at Leaveston Green, but also as a class working together. So forest class, we're excited to give you your new name and to see what, you, what forest class brings, what new meanings forest class becomes in your time with us. And then we've got bridge class. Bridge class, currently are known as reception B, but from now on you will be bridge class. Your teacher will be Miss Corcoran and you'll be supported in class learning with Miss Dixon. Now you're called bridge class because bridges are reliable and helpful and supportive, which are all brilliant things to be in your learning, but they're also resilient. And the whole job of a bridge is to overcome barriers. So bridges are created for the sole purpose of helping people, but also overcoming things. And the creation of a bridge is actually a well thought out thing. So uh, those are some of my ideas for bridge class, but I'm excited to see what you bring to the meaning of bridge class during your time at Leavesden Green. Now, some of you asked some questions. You had some questions that you sent in. So I'm just going to talk through some of the questions that we've had. Now, the first question was about school bags. In September, we ask that you do not bring a school bag to school. All you need to bring is your book bag. So please only bring your book bag to school. You do not need a backpack with anything else. You just need your book bag. And your book bag is very important. It needs to come to school every day and it all needs to be taken home so that we can communicate information with you. But also then we can start sending home books from our library or our reading scheme books. So your book bag is very important. This is a slight change. You've had children in our early years before. We have said yes to back backpacks, but from now on, we're saying just a book bag, please. You come into school in your PE kit, so there's no need to bring in a PE kit. And if you choose to have a packed lunch, then you have your packed lunches as well. So apart from that, there's nothing else that you need to bring to school with you every day. Your book bag, your water bottle and your packed lunch if you choose to. And then on PE days, you're coming in your kit. So it's, we're trying to minimise the amount of things that you need to bring in to be ready to learn. 
Now we had a number of questions about uniform. Somebody asked, is, is there limits on when school dress, summer dresses can be worn? And the answer is no. It's your decision if you want to wear a summer dress or a pinafore dress or a skirt. Um, we did ask you to consider the weather, um, but as, if, as for that, that's your decision. Um, we also had a question about polo tops. Could it be a polo top? And yes, it can. It doesn't need to, definitely doesn't need to be a shirt. What we want to encourage is children dressing themselves. Now, we're not going to be doing that in school as we would have in the past because children will come in in their pee kit. So we would ask you at home to encourage that and buy them uniform that they themselves can manage and put on. Um, so hopefully that answers that question. There was also a question about what you needed to buy from MacPack, the company that provides our uniform. And the answer is your book bag is and your PE top are the two things that you have. We need you to buy from MacPack because for the logos, everything else could be purchased elsewhere, or you have the option of buying MacPack. So if you want um, school jumpers and cardigans and fleeces with the logo, you can buy them from MacPack. If you want to purchase green jumpers and green cardigans from a supermarket or from a shop, you can. So the only thing that we request you order from that pack is your book bag and your pee top, but there is the option to buy more things. Hopefully that's answered all of your questions that you sent through. If any further questions do come up, please do email us. We are more than happy to talk you through. Um, also to update your timings, this year we've been operating on slightly different timings um, due to COVID, we've had to stagger our starts. We are hoping in September to go back to everyone starting on similar times. Now what we offer is a soft start, which means the classroom door opens at 8.40 and it closes at 8.55 and you can drop or arrive at school any time between that 15 minute window. What this means for some of our children is they come a little bit earlier, which for some children is nice for them to come at different times and some children come a bit later if they're dropping siblings. Um, but we do say the door closes at 8.55 and after that it would be classed as a late. So this soft start is to ease transition coming into the classrooms in the mornings. It's also to ease congestion around the school. Um, but we do ask that you stick to that 8.55 latest with the door closing. Um, in terms of going home, nursery finish at 11.50, which is a little bit later than this year because they've been starting earlier, and reception will be finishing at 3.10. So what comes next? Um, we'll be visiting you in September for your home visit. Please do not worry or stress about the home visit. It really is a chance for us just to get to know you. We are coming to see your child in their most comfortable setting and to have a chat with you about your child so that we can equip ourselves as much as possible to help them learn and to ease the transition to them starting school. It may be that your child is not comfortable to speak to the adults when they're there. That's absolutely fine. We do not push it. Um, but it is helpful if you've prepared some toys that they might want to share with us or your box so that there's something that we can um, try to engage them into talking with. The main thing that we're coming for is for them to see the teachers. So it will be a teacher and an NSA visiting you and they will stay for about 20 minutes just to have a chat with you and to hopefully um, have a little bit of a chat with your child just so that they, your child feels like they've met them before they're meeting them in the school building. Um, then we have our open sessions, um, which will be held in school. And these are two sessions for your child to come in a smaller group so that they can get used to being dropped, being picked up, the environment and the adults. Um, so those things are really, really important. And you should have all the information about when those are happening in your packs. And the last thing to do in terms of getting ready and coming next is if you haven't watched it, please watch our teacher video. It gets so many top tips for being ready for school, um, but also our boxes. Please make sure that you are putting together your box, your all about you box, ready to share on your home visit and then to bring into school to share with your new class. I am so excited to meet you all in September um, and to see the brilliance that you're going to bring to Leaves in Green. Please do be in contact if you've got any further questions and thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.